All right, tubers, Matt M. Roy back once again. Well, I did it again. I bought a pallet of computers on eBay. There's 40. They're Dell Optiplex 3020s. Um, were they 390s? Uh, Core i3s mostly with some Core i5s mixed in. Now, Mom and I are going to pick these up because they're only about an hour and a half to maybe an hour and the three quarters away from us in Tappahannock, Virginia. So we're going to go ahead and pick those up uh, tomorrow. Probably going to be leaving the house around, I don't know, 9, 30, 10 a.m. Just going to depend on traffic, but it shouldn't take too long. If it is possible, I will be filming a little bit in there for the channel. I'm going to ask the gentleman. I'm going to say, look, I have a YouTube channel I'd like to film. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to turn you guys around and show you the listing and um, yeah, show you what I paid for it. See you in a minute. All right, everybody. So here is the listing. Um, you can see it's a lot of 40 Dell Optiplex 3020s, 7020s, 990s, Core i3 and i5s. Uh, to be fair, they are mostly i3s, but there are eight or nine that are actually i5s, second and third and fourth gens. And the winning bid was $1,400. I should say winning bid. It was a buy it now for $1,400. And the total after taxes came to $1,474.20. Um, that is the seller recycle for VA. Let me see if I can click in here and get you guys a little bit bigger shot of these computers. Um, yeah, you could see right there that, you know, there are a bunch of different ones, mostly Windows 7. There are a few Windows 8 systems there. Um, they're a mixed lot of full towers, mini towers. I think there's a micro tower right there too. You can see there's a couple different ones there. Um, but for the most part, they are all in good shape. So I am very optimistic. going to go ahead and pause this right now and pick it up tomorrow when we're on our way to pick these up. All right, everybody, still the night before. And there's something I forgot to do. Wow, check it out. You can tell it's cold. The dang uh, LED light and the floodlight is flickering like mad. Does that every time it's cold out. I don't know. I've tried fixing it. I don't know if it's the actual LED bulb or the fixture itself, but I ain't going to worry about it right now. But one thing that I did forget to do, need to check and make sure I have everything out of the Yukon because this is the vehicle going to be taken tomorrow to pick up that pallet of computers in Tappahannock. Um, back seat, what I can do here, what's really nice, if you pull this, these will actually fold into the front. Now, i got to push the uh, front seat up a little bit, you know, just to do it. But then these will fold down, and then I'll get this room where I can put uh, a bunch of computers. I'm thinking I can probably get 10 computers in here. This is my uh, cooler, which I'll probably take out tomorrow morning. Actually, I might go ahead and do that tonight because I want to make sure I have everything ready for tomorrow. I could take out the scraper in there, too. Dang, my Twilight Sentinel is really 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 set to low might be because my battery's running out too but i just started it so i doubt it um back here let me open up the tailgate area um as you can see everything is cleared out. i got the furniture blanket here these are great when you don't want to destroy your carpet especially with putting a pallet of computers in now Unfortunately, I am not going to be able to put the entire pallet in here. I'm going to have to break it down. Um, Dan and I are thinking about 10 computers each row, so probably 10, 20, 30, 40, maybe 8. So if that's the case, then 36 here, and then we'll do 4 in the front. But either way, I'll definitely be able to get them all in. I just really got to work on getting this smoothed out, uh, maybe make it look a little bit nicer, because if it's all ruffled up like this, then I'm not going to be able to get every computer computer in here but that i'll go ahead and take care of tomorrow morning so mom and i are getting ready for the long trip well not too long about an hour and a half and uh talk to you guys tomorrow morning all right everybody it's the next day about well exactly 907 i have to head out to food lion i decided to cook my 15 bean soup today the same day we're going to be heading out of town 
and also have somebody coming to get a computer today too so it's all go now you guys know why i can't do the vlogs as much as i used to but got to head out i uh, wound up forgetting to buy some um diced tomatoes so let's do a cold start on the le saber give that to you guys you guys are always asking for it turn you around see if this beast starts all right, so you guys by now know my 2000 Buick LeSabre. Um, I've actually been having a problem with this. Uh, when I bought this about a year ago, I got a brand new battery for it um, from O'Reilly's. But lately, it has been very weak starting. So I'm going to go ahead and see what the actual voltage is right now. And you can see the battery's pretty low. Now, in all fairness, it has been pretty cold the last couple of days. Should still start, though, at 11.4 volts. Let's see if she'll turn over. Oh, yeah, no problem. But if I let it sit for more than a day or two, the battery voltage will dip down to um, about 10, 10 and a half. And at that point, it gets very hard to start. So when I have some time, I need to bring this back over to O'Reilly's and have them assess that battery. Um, and yes, before anybody asks, it is normal for this vehicle to charge at 15 volts, especially when the battery's low. All right, everybody, I got to do some shopping. We'll see what the rest day brings, and I'll talk to you guys on the flip side. All right, everybody, so I'm back from Food Lion, and just thought I'd show you my 15 bean soup. Got it simmering in three different crock pots. Got it in the real small one here, the medium sized crock pot here and then the big big one over here now i'm trying something different mom bought these crock pot liners from aldi it's supposed to make it a lot easier to clean up so basically all you do once you fin once you finish cooking you empty the um, contents out into their final containers then you just go ahead and throw this away and you don't have to actually clean the uh, crock pot itself out so really interesting i'm dying to see how well they work i actually got them from uh, aldi if I go in here, I can show you what they look like. I put them right here. They're Boulder slow cooker liners. Whoop, go this way. And as you can see, they are BPA free. It says for fast, easy cleanup with no soaking or scrubbing. Fits three to eight quart round and oval crock uh, slow cookers. And it fits all three of those just fine. So I have to let you guys know how that works out. But Dad's over here watching TV. I'm not going to get him in the vlog today because I don't think he's presented himself for that. Um, got somebody coming to look at a computer. Dishwasher's going. So, yeah, we're getting all ready. About 9.46. We're going to head out, um, I think, right around 11 and probably get there sometime around 1.30 or 2. So I'll keep you guys updated and talk to you on the flip side. All right, everybody. Heading out. Uh, quarter after 11. I'm on the uh, Minor Merrimack bridge right now but ready to go into the tunnel mom's here this is uh gonna be an interesting trip you guys can't see her not the way i have the mount hello mom says hi but uh we're gonna go eat first i think we're gonna go to this um super china buffet mom and i have been having a hankering for some good chinese food and i've been saving up my calories so uh we're gonna kind of pig out first at this chinese buffet you know carbo load and then get ready to load 40 four zero computers this is going to be an adventure and if at all possible i'll go ahead and uh i'll go ahead and film but i'm not sure if they'll allow it or not so i'm gonna go ahead and pause the vlog and i'll talk to you guys probably when we get there all right everybody just arrived in tappahannock virginia mom's here you gonna say hi we're going to eat. We are very hungry at the moment. We haven't hardly eaten anything all day long, so we're going to go into this uh, China King Buffet behind us. We'll see what the food's like, and uh, we only got about five or ten more miles to get the computer, so it shouldn't be too much longer. going to go get some good food, and I'll talk to you guys on the flip side. All right, so here at this China King Buffet in Tappahannock, Virginia, excellent love the food here especially the fact that they have egg foo young which most places do not have anymore so mom's washing up uh we're gonna get going probably it's 1 30 something we'll probably be there like around um quarter till maybe a little bit later i think it's about 10 miles from here um hopefully they're gonna let me film in there i'm not sure but we'll find out talk to you guys in just a few minutes all right so here we are getting ready to load them apparently this is where they're going to come out 
Um, so I'm not going to do any more filming just yet because we're going to have to load these things. That's going to take a while, but I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. Um, yeah, this should be interesting. I'll keep you guys updated. Uh, the GPS was a little bit off. It didn't quite take me exactly where I wanted it to. So um, I had to ask somebody at a local tire shop exactly where this was. Hopefully they'll come and uh, tell me how I got to load these things. Talk to you guys in a little bit. Alright, so mom and I are going to do this together. There's going to be 40 of them on here. And uh, we'll see how long this takes. Let's, let's time it so it's, uh, what is it, 148 right now? Mom's got the muscle. I got some muscle too, but they look all to be in decent shape. These are some of the smaller ones. These look like the Core i3s. Got a few um, big towers here. Just a little dusty, but here? not they bad. Yep, I'm going to count them real quick, but yeah, everything everything looks pretty good. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to start loading these and uh, take the time out. Uh, we're going to set it at 150. We'll see how long. All right, so as you guys can see, they are all loaded up. Official time, 157. So that took us, what, seven minutes? Yeah. I uh, know. When did we start? I forgot. <laughs> no, I think it was, I think it was Corey. So I'm going to say about, about 11 minutes, but man, look at that. Everything's loaded in the back here and uh, also have a few systems in the back seat. That's why I like this Yukon. It'll actually fold down and you can put the seats like that. Man, I wish I could remember the time. I'll have to look I at it later. Remember. I want to yeah. say it was quarter two, so I would make it 10, maybe 11 minutes. It wasn't much. But it's all loaded up. I still need to do some shopping because I saw some stuff inside that I wanted to look at. So we're going to go ahead and... Um, close this up i'm gonna go inside take a look around and uh probably catch you guys when we get back home do you want to say anything no it was easy see i got yep. my workout for today so did i and now the workout's gonna be getting them inside yep. we'll Not see yet. you guys later all right so we're stopping here at this goodwill right in tappahannock mom mm -hmm. thought it was further down right, but apparently it wasn't to me. <laughs> we're gonna check it out and see if we can find any uh, monitors to pair with those 40 uh towers i just picked up Let's go in and see if they have anything. They don't make it easy, do yeah. they? <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh, you see anything you want? Oh, mom, mom, do you remember these? I know. Do you remember red birds? When I looked at the, the, the sugar content for four or five of them, was 30 grams. I said, forget it. Oh, that's, that's not a bad price, though. Or do we usually get them at dollar tree? You get them at roses for a dollar. Yeah, but I don't know if it's that big of a bag, it is. is it? it? Is. Oh, okay. Dang. All right, well, let's see if we can find anything. Hi. Oh, I definitely don't need any of those. At least not right now. What do you see in anything good? What do I got? Index cards. I probably have a million of those at home. But that's actually good to have when you're out of them. Oh, look at this. Now, see, whenever you guys see these, pick them up. These Brita filters, these things cost like five, four or five bucks a piece um, in the stores. And this is brand new. So I'm going to pick that up for 99 cents. Goodwills, you guys keep asking me. And I'm telling you, you can still find some really good deals in Goodwills. Yankee Candle. What is this Christmas cedar? I'm going to put this. Oh kind of lost most of its uh, scent mine. there. <laughs> little snow globe what let me see that go with my big thing oh yeah yes were well, they salt and pepper shakers right yeah i thought so well it's probably some leftover salt or pepper i have no idea all right let her do her thing let me look in this section here see if we can find anything got not too much. We got some um, old Memorex boombox. Let's see what this is. I'll have to look that up. Some of these, believe it or not, can have some value to them. Natural sound stereo amplifier. I'm going to look that up before I leave. Not too much else. Good old school Spartus alarm clock. I got a bunch of those at home. What do they want for that? Buck ninety nine. Not too bad. Let's go down here. I don't really see any uh, computer monitors. You wouldn't find towers here necessarily, but a lot of times you can get lucky with uh, with monitors. I do see a few older RCA VCRs. 
Now this is unique. You see that right there? SVHS Hi-Fi Stereo. That is very, very hard to find. And the way you can tell that is it's got the SVHS uh, inputs there. So that for $2.99 will definitely be coming with me. Uh, might be taking this one down here too if it's a decent price. Uh, what do they want for that? I think that's $2.99 as well. So going to do some looking around here and uh, talk to you guys when I get back home. Got to check out their cables too. All right, everybody. So I stopped here at a Kroger in Gloucester and this time of year, really got to look out for these deals. Get a pound of strawberries, three for five dollars. Now, they're all different types of strawberries. You got the Giant brand, Fresh, Campo, and Seven Seas. I always just pick out the ones that look the most ripe, and you want to have the least amount of white on them, so those aren't too bad. I think I'll go ahead and get uh, six of them, so that should be ten, about ten dollars before tax. But for whatever reason, this time of year is very, very good for strawberries. Uh, got to do some more shopping, but got this taken care of. See you guys at home, and I'll give you guys the uh, grand total of what I spent on those computers, and uh, maybe we'll dig into one or two of them. Talk to you guys in a little bit. All right, everybody, made it back home, and I uh, thought I'd show you a little bit more uh, what these computers actually are. Uh, it looks like these are some of the i3s here. These are Optiplex 7020s. These are what I would call micro towers. Um, these are Windows 8 systems, so that's great. I won't even have to worry about product keys. They'll activate automatically. And see if we can get enough light in here. I can open one up. That actually does have a product key, which I'll try desperately not to show you guys. Um, these are all supposed to have some kind of hard drive, and I do see a hard drive and some memory in there. These, I believe, all have 4 gigs of RAM, so I'll kind of have to double up on some of these. Uh, they're really dusty, so nothing is going to go in the house uh, before it gets cleaned. And looks like they've all been through uh, some testing. Wow, these are actually from 2015. That's a i3-4160. Um, they all pretty much have either 4 or 8 gigabytes of RAM and uh, 500 gig hard drives. Now, I did a little bit more shopping. Um, let me see if I can pull this over here without making too much of a mess. Did some more shopping. Don't want to show you guys that at the same place. And... Wound up getting, for $2 a piece, a bunch of these Dell mice. These are brand new. Um, these look to be like Dell Studio mice, laser mice. These are the real nice ones. I think I got like nine of these in total. Um, picked up a few of these. These are really good to have, believe it or not. These are TrendNet USB to gigabit Ethernet adapters. Um, especially for laptops or desktops that have a bad Ethernet port, you can plug that into the USB and it automatically gives you Ethernet. So it makes it really, really easy to connect to the different networks. And then I just picked up a few mouse pads. She wanted a buck a piece for these and I just needed some extra mouse pads. So did quite a bit of shopping um, while I was up there and then picked up a few keyboards as well. I was able to put my toolbox in here. Luckily, I did not need it. The Yukon is a trooper. She's a beast, I'm telling you, folks. And we'll go ahead and open this up real quick. And this is the bulk lot, and I'm glad... I'm, Glad that didn't fall out. But what we did is we have the big uh, towers on the bottom, the stand-up regular mini towers. And then we have the, um, the little bit smaller towers here, whatever you want to call them, micro towers. And then on top, on this layer, we have mostly the ultra small form factor ones. I think a few of these are like the... Um, small form factor. So these are the ultra small form factor. These are the small form factor. And then down here we have a few back here of the uh, mini towers. I know they got weird, weird names. And these I think are a little bit older. These are Optiplex 7010s. Judging by the fact that that, I don't even know what that was. What in the world was that? Well, something's missing there. But anyway, um, these are from 2013, and I like the way they wrote that on there. These have third-gen i5, so again, not a bad haul. I figure with everything included, um, gas, my traveling expenses, 
all these towers set me back about $1,600. So only time is going to tell um, what I'll be able to sell them for. We're going to the vlog here today. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Stay tuned. More videos coming on these in the near future. Now I have a busy night ahead of me of pulling these out, cleaning them, getting them ready to be refurbished. So thank you for coming. Please have a blessed day, and I'll talk to you guys on the next vlog.